In order to understand Coulomb's law, which explains the force of attraction between two different charges, in order to understand Coulomb's law, which is the equation that explains the force In order to calculate the force between any two charged objects, we utilize what's called Coulomb's Law. Before we get into Coulomb's Law, I want to make a connection because it's very helpful in trying to understand electricity. And that's with universal gravitation. So in the previous video, we discussed universal gravitation, which is the equation that Newton derived, or it helped to develop, that explains how we can calculate the force of attraction between any two masses. So if you want to find that anywhere in the universe, you're going to multiply g, 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11, that's the gravitational constant, uh, times mass 1 times mass 2, divided by r squared, which is the distance between the center of those masses. If we want to take that kind of concept and apply it to electricity, it's not too different. And that's because with two charges, they may attract one another if they're oppositely charged. They may repel one another if they have the same charge. But what's really important to notice is that both gravity and electricity are what we call field forces or non-contact forces. The Earth masses, they can exert gravitational forces across space. They don't need physical contact like you or I do to need, uh, need to exert a force on something. Charges are the same. Charges can actually exert forces over distance. If you've ever kind of put a sweatshirt on or pulled a sweatshirt off, you might notice you kind of get like that weird static electricity feeling on your arm. And if you move that near the sweatshirt you just took off, you might find that like the hairs on your arm move a little bit, despite not being in contact. And that's because field forces are forces that are able to exert themselves over some kind of distance. So when we show you Coulomb's Law, which is Fe equals kqq over r squared, you should see some alarming similarities. It's basically the same form, but we replace the gravitational constant with k, which is not spring constant as we've discussed previously. In this case, it's Coulomb's constant, which is 8.99 times 10 to the 9th, but I'll get into that a little bit later. But understand we replace the gravitational constant with a Coulomb's constant, which relates to electrical charge, and we replace the masses with charges. R itself is still the distance between the center of these two charges. But take a second to notice that there's a striking similarity between those two equations, and that's because they're both field forces, and there are a lot of similarities with field forces. All right, so to look at it in a little bit more depth, um, let's get everything down on paper. So universal gravitation, which we should already have, uh, is Fg, equals gmm over r squared, and you can see the listed variables. Mass 1, mass 2, the center to center distance, and so forth. Coulomb's law is Fe equals kqq over r squared, and again, you'll notice the only difference is we use Coulomb's constant instead of the gravitational constant, which is 8.99 times 10 to the 9th. Now, sometimes that's rounded, and you know like times 10 to the 9th in scientific notation could be like e to the 9. So the way I remember it is, I think, 9E9. Okay, 8.99 essentially rounds to 9, and then E9 is the same as saying, like, times 10 to the 9th. So if you want to remember it, which you don't have to, uh, it's 9E9, or more accurately, 8.99 times 10 to the 9th. Don't be too concerned with the units at the end. That crazy-looking unit is just so that when we apply all this, uh, we get newtons at the end. So don't be too concerned with that. Just understand 8.99 times 10 to the 9th is what you're using Coulomb's Law, as opposed to the 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th, which is using universal gravitation. But again, I'll say it a few times, but just notice the similarities between these two, and if you understand things about gravity, um, you can kind of innately understand some things about electricity. All right, so in the next few videos, I'm going to show you how to use this equation, Coulomb's Law, on two charges, three charges, and just show you kind of the process of how that goes through. But the main takeaway is the similarities with universal gravitation due to both being field forces, and that we have this new constant called Coulomb's constant, and we don't use masses, we use the value of the charges. Otherwise, it's essentially the same equation.